actors who refuse to do movies together. As may happen in any other domain or workplace, people can compete and tension with other co-workers can occur. Hollywood also faces this. This can never be unavoidable. Hollywood is a hot scene for tempers and rifts between old co-stars. Nothing is new here. On the filming of the 1959 Hollywood classic film Some Like It Hot, Tony Curtis was so nervous when he was annoyed by his co-star Marilyn Monroe's behaviors that he shamelessly compared kissing her to kissing Hitler. Although after some time, he denied saying that. And there was a whole series devoted to the great catfight taking place between actresses Betty Davis and Joan Crawford, aptly titled Feud. In the coming modern cases, the co-stars did not only not get along, but they also rejected to even share the same screen. We can just imagine the happy working conditions that are made for everyone else. Read the following parts to see who couldn't stand to shoot at the same time. Rumors say that there was a problem between actors Dwayne The Rock Johnson and Vin Diesel. This appeared in headlines in 2016 when Johnson opted for an Instagram post that was removed immediately through Vanity Fair to complain about his work filming the eighth incarnation of the Fast and the Furious films. He said that his female co-stars are always great, while his male co-stars were a different story. Some consider themselves as stand-up men and true professionals, the ones who don't feel like they're too cowardly to do anything about that anyway. Chickens. Ooh, boy. It seems obvious who the candy ass in question was in the year 2018 when Johnson has confirmed to Rolling Stone that both he and Diesel had not filmed any scenes together in the shooting of the film, The Fate of the Furious. It took them some time, but he's grateful for that clarity, whether they work together again or not. He added, nevertheless, that he wishes them all the best, and he harbors no ill will there. In fact, you can remove that last part about no ill will. They said they'll just keep it with the clarity. Game of Feuding Exes Game of Thrones is a great series with about a million plot lines and characters, so it's not something strange if you hear that some actors don't like working together during the show's filming. However, specific critics were fast to spot Wylena Hetty, who plays the role of evil queen Cersei Lannister, and Jerome Flynn, who plays the role of her brother, lover's guard, Bronn, never had any screen time together, except the one short scene in Season 3, as Refinery29 mentions. But why? The Telegraph says that Hetty and Flynn were a couple way back in 2002 and broke up, and in the wake of the terrible split, rejected to be in the same filming room. A source said to the newspaper that Jerome and Lena don't talk to each other and are never meeting or sitting in the same room at the same time. Wesley Snipes and Patton Oswalt Actor Wesley Snipes also is said to experience the same thing and show no kindness. This is said to have happened many times on the set of 2004's Blade Trinity. The comedian Patton Oswalt, Snipes' co-star on the third installment of the Blade series, told AV Club in an interview that Snipes was less than friendly to all his fellow actors. Oswalt also said that there were tales of Snipes refusing to leave his place, smoking marijuana all day, and trying to strangle the film's director. Moreover, in Oswalt's conference, Snipes declined to film any scenes at all with his fellow actors, sadly for the most part. He explained to AV club that Wesley only arrived on set for close-ups. Everything else was completed by his stand-in. I sadly only did see one scene with that man. Temper supposedly boiled over to the extent that the film's director, Goyer, asked Wesley to quit, after which point Wesley had selected post-it notes as his style of communication with the director. And yet, Oswald insisted that it was an example of a very bothered shoot that we made fun. Onset Troubles Roberts and Nolte Let's talk about the 1994's I Love Trouble film where Julia Roberts and Nick Nolte work together. The film hasn't exactly made a lot of success among other romantic comedies, and it looks likely that the bad relations between its key players could have been responsible for the loss and the lukewarm reception. Plenty of sources from the movie's set told the Los Angeles Times that the two co-stars couldn't bear one another. 